Greetings, Blender Heads. Time for a new tutorial. This one is going to be on how to make a logo out of a text. Fairly simple. I have my Blender file open to its new default settings with the light and the camera tracking to an empty. This is convenient for when you're running it long animations and you want everything to remain lit and you want the camera to constantly point at the object. I showed you how to set this up in a previous tutorial if you're interested in double checking it you can backtrack and find it on my webpage one shot al at youtube.com uh, once you have a file set up and you want to set it as default settings it's pretty simple to do you just click on file scroll down to save default settings and it will save whatever file you have opened as the default file now on to the text I'm going to press 1 on the number pad and I'm going to use the shortcut spacebar to add a text object that we will use for our logo once the menu pops up scroll down to text and left click on that you can see that it's inserted into the file to be read from the top view. Pressing number 7 on the number pad, I'm in the top view. This is, of course, not the word that I want to use for my logo. So I'm going to hit tab. I'm going to backspace. And I'm going to type in what I want it to say being a little egotistical I'm going to type in one shot out and I tab out and now we have our logo one shot out you notice that if I were to look at it from the camera pressing O I mean pressing zero on the number pad it's not quite what I want or would be satisfied with You also notice that it's not exactly centered. So the first thing I want to do is go down to our editing menu. And I'm going to left click on center new. That will set the text up uh, centered on the cursor, which at the moment is at 0, 0, 0. And I should like also to have it facing the camera when I'm done. The camera, which will end up on zero X axis later on. So to get it facing the camera, I'm going to press R. I'm going to press X so it rotates on the X axis only. And then press 90 in the, on the number pad, 9, 0 hit enter and hit one and there we have it eventually I planned on moving the camera to this angle so we would have a better shot at the logo pressing N brings up our transform properties and I can zero out the camera on the x-axis and I can also zero it in on the y so I can better frame the logo I'm going to want it to show off a little bit of the 3D part of it so I'm going to he head over just a little bit to the left or I mean to the right and I'm going to go up just a hair. Hitting tw F12 to render it, we get a clear shot of what the logo will look like. 
I want it to be a little bit more 3D-ish, but if I want to edit it, it's still in text mode. So I will have to convert it. And to do that, we're going to press down ALT and hold it, and then press C once. That brings up our Convert Font to menu. And from experience, I already know I just want it to turn into a mesh. I'm going to left click the mesh. Now when I hit Tab, I can edit it. Hitting period, I center it. And what I want to do is give it some 3D-ish look. And to do that, we extrude it. So all I have to do now is hit E, brings up the extrude menu, and I want to extrude everything, not just individual faces, edges, or vertices, so I'm going to click on region. Now if I move my mouse, you can see that it extrudes either way my mouse moves. But from experience, I already know that I want it to be about negative point two on the y-axis. Get rid of the see-through function. And now we have a nice looking 3D logo. I'm going to hit tab so we're out of the edit function and hit F12 to go at it. Not bad. That concludes our tutorial on how to make quick logos using the text function in Blender. And we'll see you next time.